I just want to start off this video by saying Merry Christmas to everybody that's celebrating um, today and if you're watching this later on I hope you had a really great time and continue to during the holidays. So I'm going to be going through this problem today which is finding out the area of a Christmas tree and it's not green, the usual Christmas tree, it's blue. Uh, so let's get stuck into the problem. Now this Christmas tree it's got a width of six centimetres, it's quite small, and a height of six centimetres, okay? And I want to work out just the blue part of the Christmas tree. I don't want to work out uh, the bottom part, um, the trunk of the tree, if you like. OK, so what I'm going to do first of all is I notice that uh, down the diagonal of the uh, tree, um, if we were to draw that in like it's got in the diagram here, each part of that, each kind of segment, the diagonal is the same, as noted with uh, these two lines through the sides here. So these are all equal. OK, and I've got four different triangles it's made up of. Now, what I want to do is I want to draw it without the trunk because I don't need that bit. And then I've noticed, well, if these are all the same now, the side diagonally, then if I split this up, make it easier to see if I do it like this anyway, then actually what I've got are, including the diagonals, three similar triangles and in fact if I include the original I've got four similar triangles. Now using that information if this diagonal for the smallest top part is a quarter of the size then I've got a scale factor here of a quarter and so what I need to do is divide each of these lengths by four so actually the height of this top part would be well this Diagonal is a quarter, so it would be a quarter of six. So that would be six over four, or three over two. Okay. So that is equal to three over two. Now I can do exactly the same with the bottom here. So that again, because the scale factor for this top part is a quarter, it's going to be a quarter of six. So that would also be 3 over 2. Now remember, to work out the area of the triangle, I need the base times the height and half it. OK, now for the next one, uh, we've got two of these diagonals. And so 2 out of 4, that's half. This is going to be a half. It's going to be half of the height, so half of 6, which is 3. And a half of the base, which is also 3. OK because that's using, again, scale factors. I've got two of those diagonals out of four. Two out of four is a half. So the scale factor from this original largest triangle to this triangle that I've just um, annotated is a half. Now, the final triangle that I extracted from this, this one on the bottom right here, um, it's got three of these diagonals out of a total of four. So the scale factor there is going to be three quarters. And so I need three quarters of six to get my base. So three quarters of six. Well, that will give me um, three times six is 18 over four, nine over two or 4.5. And I'll leave it um, as nine over two for now because I've left it as fractions earlier on. And the height, well, we know and we can tell from looking at all the rest of them that this is gonna be the same as the width of the base. So this is also gonna be six because that's the height times by uh, three quarters, which will also give me nine over two. Now at this point, I probably want to go back to my diagram and just annotate this on, because then I can start to work out each of the heights of the individual triangles. And it might be fairly obvious at this point, you might have already worked it out, yeah, but if you haven't, that's what I'm gonna do now. So the height of this one here is three over two, okay? Or we'll, well, we'll leave it as three over two rather than 1.5. Now the height of these top two in total is three. So the height of those top two is three. Three take away three over two, leaves me with three over two. And so I get this is three over two. And if you couldn't before, you might see where this is going now. Now the height of the top three triangles in total is nine over two or 4.5. Take away 1.5, take away 1.5, again, leaves me with 1.5 or 3 over 2. Now at this point I've got 1.5, 1.5 which is 3, and 1.5 which is 4.5, and another 1.5, or 3 over 2, and we will get the 
height in total, which is six. The other thing I want to put on here is the bases of each. So this one was nine over two is the base. This one was three, and this was uh, three over two or 1.5. And now once I've got that, I've got all the information now I need to work out um, the area of the Christmas tree. So I'm just going to erase some of this so I can do some working out. So, all of these are going to be half. It's going to be half times the base times by the height. So I'm going to do a half times the base times the height of each of them. So I'm going to do a half of 6 times by 3 over 2, so that would be the bottom triangle, plus 9 over 2 times 3 over 2, plus 3 times 3 over 2, and the last one is 3 over 2 times by 3 over 2. And so I put that all into my calculator, and what I get, what I should get, is 11.25 centimetres squared. And so that is the area of the Christmas tree. And that's how you might work it out. But obviously you have to, you have to know or work out different scale factors uh, if you were to split it up depending on the diagonals of the Christmas tree. I hope that was uh, fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, make sure to like and subscribe um, and make sure to have a great Christmas. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I really appreciate it and I really appreciate all the likes and everybody that subscribed to the channel. If you like this video, then there should be plenty more videos just up here. Uh, hopefully it's, it's here. That's where it should be, the one that you want to watch next. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.